everybody, welcome back. Um, it is day seven of Vlogmas, and this was not the video I had intended to post. Um, I'm just not feeling it today. So I decided to do a mental health check-in because I thought maybe other people might be feeling the same way. So please feel free in the comments to let me know how you're doing, let me know how you're feeling, um, let me know how December's going for you, anything you need to talk about or get off your chest, please feel safe to do it in the comments. And I would love to talk to you and reply to your comments and see if we can kind of lift each other up. So my, my mental health today is not great. Um, it's not so much that I'm depressed or feeling low. It's just I, I'm very much out of energy, um, both physically and mentally. I just am not. It's, it's kind of one of those days where you feel like you just don't want to move. Um, and I don't really know why. It's not that I'm overly worked or that anything has happened recently to make me feel this way. I just do. I don't know what it, the reason is. And lots of times I don't know what the reason is when things change emotionally. But that's okay. I'm just going to try to do things that will make me feel better. Um, so I'm going to listen to a podcast, watch some TV, maybe read a little. I don't know. Usually when I'm tired mentally, I don't really read because there's just, I'm just too tired to comprehend it. I'm just tired and not feeling, you know, like I said, this is not the video I planned to post because I just didn't feel like recording and going through all of the things I had to go through to do the one I was going to post today. Um, so you'll see that at another date. Um, but sometimes that's just how it is. Sometimes that's just how it is. And I just wanted to post a little something um, to let you, know, you guys know what's going on. And like I said, hopefully we can help each other. If you have anything you need to discuss in the comments. Um, if you don't feel comfortable putting it in the comments, but you'd still like to discuss it or get it off your chest, please feel free to head over to Instagram and message me at, at author Genevieve Scholl. Feel free to uh, follow me as well. Um, I usually follow back as long as I see that you're a real person. So feel free to do that and send me a message over there if you'd like to keep it private. And I hope December will be going well for most of us. And if December is... A month of contention or sadness for you. I hope there is some sort of light in all the dark that you can find and that everybody remains safe and warm and fed. And hope 2022 might be the year that things pick up again. I don't know. We'll see. So that's it for today. I'm going to go listen to podcasts and a couple other things, which I'll record a couple clips of so maybe you guys can vibe off of my <laughs> mental health time to maybe relax and calm your own minds at the moment is we're currently sitting here sipping tea out of our brand new partners in crime mugs that we've had made up yeah, does it improve the taste do you think it improves my ego <laughs> and <laughs> i think they look absolutely fantastic i'm not quite sure what the connection is between partners in crime and a pair of mugs. So, consistent with our desire to bring you guests from all areas of crime fiction, from all platforms to books, film, TV, radio and audio production, we have a special guest today who straddles two great crime dramas, uh, Spiral, Engrenage and Death in Paradise. And in these he wears two different hats, a cinematographer and director. Now, speaking to us from his home in Fontainebleau, just outside Paris, welcome to Partners in Crime, Roger Simons. Um, I have to say, uh, Spiral, uh, Engrenage, has been uh, one of my favourite, if not my very favourite, uh, uh, crime series uh, since it began. I mean, I first got into it in, in 2006 when it was shown on the BBC over here. 
and it's now uh, showing over here in its sixth uh, episode, uh, a series, and uh, I, you know, I think it's the most wonderful series. It's gritty, it's compassionate, it's beautifully shot, the storytelling is, is marvellous, and, and all the main characters that, that remain in the series to this day uh, feel very much like family to me. Now, you worked uh, on series three as cinematographer, which is, a, as we all know, a hugely important uh, a job. Uh, so can you tell us a little bit about what attracted you to working uh, on Spiral uh, in that capacity? Well, um, it, was, um, it was a great honour to be asked in the first place. <laughs> Thank you.